As I promise, as I promise, my breast, my, my breast, my breast will satisfy you, satisfy you at all times. At all times, I will be, I will be the lovely wife, the lovely wife you've been looking for. You've been looking for. Amen. Amen. Ah, were you thinking I'm making a mistake? I'm not making a mistake. This is indeed a day that the Lord has made, for we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. All right. So, hallelujah. Amen. It's now time for another important session. We will remain seated as we welcome our bride. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, come on, put your hands together. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it wonderful? Come on, do it better unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. The Bible says, for this purpose will a man leave his father and mother and will cleave to his wife. And I believe that on this beautiful day, on this day of our Lord, there's going to be a beautiful union between our brother Nana Sinti and our sister Abigail. But God has raised a choice vessel to do this, to lead us through this afternoon. And we are honored to have in the house one of the senior bishops of Victory Bible Church International. Hallelujah. I thought that's a good place to clap your hands. And so with a clap offering, let's welcome the ministry of Bishop Cornelius Aja Kofi. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are we happy to be here? Well, I can't see smiles on your faces. It's, it's a joyous occasion between Nana and Abigail. So please, let's make a joyful noise in the house. Oh, is that all you can do? Somebody say, Hallelujah. All that we've been waiting for is time. Garden weddings like this doesn't take too much of a time. So, I will ask Nana Senti Awari to take the hand of her beautiful wife to be and be in front of me. I hope we all know why we are here. That two lives are going to be put together to be one between the gentleman Nana and the lady Abigail. They've declared their intention to marry. They have filed 21 days with authorities and with the church. And nobody has brought up a caveat against them. So I will not give you that privilege to disrupt their wedding by asking now. We are not going to ask. Because they fulfilled all legal reasons why they should be married. Groom. Say this after me now. No, still look at me. We haven't got to. I'll give you instruction. Right. Say this after me. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not, that I know not, of any lawful reason, of any lawful reason, why I, why I, Nana Sinti Array, should not, should not, be married, be married, in holy matrimony, in holy matrimony, to, to Abigail Ousu answer. Amen. Abigail, you, you to do this legal declaration. Say, I do solemnly declare. That I know not. Of any lawful reason. Of any lawful reason. Why I. Why I, Abigail, also answer. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony. In matrimony. To. To Nana Sinti Are. Amen. Amen. Maid of Honor, please take the bouquet, hold it for now. May I ask, who can join your right hands together? Look into your eyes. Your right hand represents your strength. It represents your resources. It represents all that you have. 
And you are telling all of us here that you will stand together. That from today, you will not stand as individuals again. That's why you are holding your hands. Brother, Nana, the Bible says in Ephesians 5, 25, that husbands love your wives even as Christ loves the church and gave himself for it. Having a full understanding of the as long as you both shall live. If so, say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Say, I. I, Abigail, who's your answer? Before God. Before God. And the presence of these witnesses. And the presence of these witnesses. Stand in front of you. Stand in front of you. To be wedded. To be wedded. As your wife. As your wife. May God. May God. Help me. Help me. Okay. Now, also, you are also going to do this for me. Mention your full name. Mention your full name. Eric Nana Saint Array. Say before God. Before God. And the presence of these witnesses. And the presence of these witnesses. I do take you. I do take you, Abigail Ousu answer. As my lawful wedded wife. As my lawful wedded wife. To have. To have. And to hold. And to hold. For better. For better. For best. For best. To love, to love, and to cherish, and to cherish in every adversity, in every adversity, adversity, till all our years, till all our years are fulfilled. I will fulfill. I will uphold you. I will uphold you in the highest, in the highest esteem, esteem above all women, above all women. I will rejoice. I will rejoice with you alone. With you alone. All the days. All the days of my life. Of my life. Your breast alone. Your breast alone shall satisfy me. Shall satisfy me at all times. At all times. God be my helper. God be my helper. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Abigail is your third. Ephesians 5.22 said, Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as unto the Lord, having a full understanding of the privileges and obligation of this Christian marriage. Do you pledge to take Brother Nana Senti away to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you covenant to love him, cherish him, support him, submit to him, Keep him alone as long as you both shall live. If you say so, say yes, I do. Yes, I do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Nana, give the Nana the mic. Say, I stand before you today. I stand before you today. To be wedded. To be wedded. By you. By you. As your husband. As your husband. God help me. God help me. Amen. Now, Nana, hey, Abigail, we are going to go along. Say, I. Hi, Abigail. Also, answer. Before God. Before God. And in the presence. And in the presence. Of these witnesses. Of these witnesses. I do take you. I do take you. Mention his name. Nana Sintiare. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. For better. For better. And for best. And for best. To love, to love and to cherish, and to cherish in, every adversity, in every adversity, till death, till death do, us part, do us part, and also, and also our years, our years esteem, in the highest esteem, above all men, above all men I will rejoice. I will rejoice with, you alone, with you alone all the days. All the days of my, life. of my life. I will allow you, I will allow you to drink, to drink waters, waters from my sister. From my sister. God, be my helper. God be my helper. In Jesus' name.
give the mic to Nana. Leave your hands. Give the mic to Nana. Give it to him. Himself, let him. You, I've been asking you to say things. Within a minute, I want you to say something beautiful to Abigail standing by you. Don't preach. I don't want preaching. I'm doing the preaching. So say something beautiful. Um, I know me meeting you at the that supermarket on November 11, 2019 wasn't just by accident. God ordered my steps to run into my beautiful bride here. And I promise you today that I'll be a husband and I will cherish you and fulfill scriptures with you. May God help me. I love you. blessing and I'm grateful for you. Thank you for being my friend, for being my brother, and for being my father. Your heart towards humanity is highly commendable and God will keep blessing you for all you do. Thank you for all you do for Mephia. I really appreciate you. We are far from perfect, but I thank God for choosing me to be your wife. You have been there for me. You have been there for me for some of my lowest times. Today, as we stand before God, friends and family, I promise to support you. promise to always stand. I may not know what the future holds, but I know who holds my future. As I trust you to lead me, I declare that our future will be beautiful. Our marriage will be beautiful. And it will be an example to many home will be filled with the purest of joy and laughter. There shall be peace in our home and we will live in nothing but bliss. And generations to come will call us blessed. It is well with us. I love you. Amen. Such a wonderful emotional Address from Abigail. Where is the token? If they have their rings, please let me have it. I have in my hands rings. That is so beautifully made. They are roundish in nature. This is not the beginning of your marriage. As part of the process, we are having today to bless you. But God himself has ordered both of you your steps. Like you told me, you just entered in a place to buy and here God gave you a wife. God ordered your steps. So upon the basis of that, as I plead the blood over the rings that you exchange, may this marriage be forever. Amen. Take the rings. Last but one finger. Take both. Last but one, look into her eyes. Don't look anywhere. 
Yes. And say, with these rings. With these rings. ID word. ID word, you have been Jolowis answer. It's a token. It's a token. Of my love. Of my love. For you. For you. It represents. It represents. It represents. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. And all that I shall ever be. And all that I shall ever be. Receive it. Receive it. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of our endless union. Of our endless union. And unbroken love. And unbroken love. Any time. Any time. You see this ring. You see this ring. Remember. Remember. The covenant, the covenant of marriage, of marriage between us, between us, and keep it holy, and keep it holy, and keep it holy. I love you. I love you. I will be. I will be the husband. The husband you've been looking for. You've been looking for. I will protect you. I will protect you. I will. I will provide for you. I will provide for you. And I will be there. And I will be there as your husband. As your husband. May God. May God help me. Help me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Where is Nana's ring? Malun this sacrificatoria. Once more again, God, let it be to your glory and to your praise. In Jesus' name. Say with this ring. With this ring. Look into straight forward. Don't look anywhere. Position the mic very well. Say with this ring. With this ring. ID word. ID word. It's a token. It's a token. Of my love. Of my love. For you. For you. It represents. It represents. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I shall ever be. And all that I shall ever be. Receive it. Receive it. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of our endless union. Of our endless union. And unbroken love. And unbroken love. Any time. Any time. You see this ring. You see this ring. Remember. Remember. The covenant. The covenant. Of marriage. Of marriage. Between us. Between us. And keep it holy. And keep it holy. Nana. From today, From today I, will be I will be the wife, the wife you've, been for. you've been looking for. Nana, Nana. From, today, from today, as I promise, as I promise my breast, my, my breast, my breast <laughs> will satisfy you, satisfy you at, all times. at all times. I will be, I will be the, lovely wife the lovely wife you've been looking for. Amen. Amen. Ah, Were well, you thinking I'm making a mistake? I'm not making a mistake. You know boys and men, one of the beautiful areas we love is the breast. So it's time for prayer, please. Come on. Please, if you can be on your feet, if you can, please stand and let's give honor. Marriages are under threat by the devil. As I'm praying over you, I'm believing God, it will be good for you. Hold your hands together. Mala Hando Sepala. Let's lift our voice and bless them. In your own words. Thank God for the life of yes. Nana and Abigail as they have come to join. Creo God that no weapon fashioned against them will prosper and every tongue that will rise against them in judgment. May you, O oh God, condemn. I declare a release of twins, a release of triplets, a release of children who will write all over their words. Lord, may we not hear any authority conferred on me as a minister of the gospel of Victory Bible Church and as a gazetted minister by the state of Ghana, I do now pronounce you 
husband and wife. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, even Jesus Christ, what God has joined and bless you, the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious. Nana, be gracious. Abigail, be gracious. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the peace of God that passeth all understanding, may he keep your heart and mind to the love and knowledge of God. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. What a beautiful thing. Now, now before I share a short message, will you turn and face your beautiful bride? Now that you are man and wife, you want to show us a beautiful front page picture. You may kiss your bride. Seconds, mommy. You may kiss your bride. Beautiful bride. By all standard. Nice group. Get it. Your children will one day rise up. Anytime the love is going down, you look and say, Nana, look at the picture. Amen. You may take your seat. Beautiful. Let us share a short word that we take home, all of us. I'm picking a scripture from Proverbs chapter number 24. I might be reading to verse number 5. He said, do not be envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them, for their hearts devise violence. Do not be envious. There are evil people around us. Do not be envious. He said, for their hearts devise violence, and their lips talk of trouble. Be careful. He said, by wisdom, a house is built. By understanding, it is established. For by knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is full of strength. And a man of knowledge enhances might. This is what I want to use to... advice or admonish as in this wedding that we have come to. There are three major things that build marriage. Wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. We all have information that people need to know about us, especially our wives. This one is so beautifully done. But as you go home, it's where a lot of adjustments are going to happen. There are things or people I call third parties. In-laws, friends. They are what I call third parties. 
Some of them, their lips are full of trouble. Every marriage adds its high and low moments. I am 34 years in it, still counting, and there are little things that you don't expect to be a problem that becomes a problem. You are going, you are going to go into a room together to sleep. You haven't heard a man snoring before. Neither have you heard a woman snoring before. Before you saw her because she was beautiful, she's a, a makeup artist, she's always slender, beautiful. But when you go into your chambers, that is where you see all the things. When they you push it. They say, Who nimo wua? Shada, aname wa. If you go to sleep, do you know what happens? Nobody knows what happens. There are things we do. People can roll from one end to the bed to the another. You've lived all by yourself. One bed is for you. Now the one bed is to be shared. You need a lot of wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to interpret knowledge. What do you know about woman? A wife. Adam said, this is bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman. And she didn't know that that woman would lead her to sin. But yet he came to himself. In Genesis chapter 3, 20. Then he said, she shall be called my wife. Say, my wife shall be called Eve. Because she is the mother of all living. Somebody in Genesis who caused her cause him to trample. This time around he is a woman that is resourceful. It's not every woman that is a wife. So Abigail, as you go, look out for what makes a wife. By wisdom, what makes a wife? What makes a man happy? I told you when I met you the other time, every man has a secret of respect and sex. I say respect and what? Oh, are you here with me? I'm a bishop of over 10 years standing. So when I'm saying these things, any man that any woman doesn't show respect, the man doesn't feel he's a man. And any man that does not get his sexual drive met, he will not feel like a man. At times people don't understand. They say, oh, but the wife is beautiful. It's not about beauty. It's about sexual demand. I'm talking wisdom. Ability to interpret knowledge. That is the knowledge you should know about a man. Eh? That is this man. He wants to respect. He wants sex. And normally I say that there are two ways of getting it. The food on the table and the food on the bed. That is for a man. Good food on the table ask him to eat nicely. He finishes eating it. Then you give him that of the bed too. And there is a beautiful thing that goes on. Beautiful. I told you when last Friday, I said when you remove cash from your pocket, what would, it, what would she do? Oh, this one. Well, a man who takes care of a wife. It's not easy for a wife to go down a, 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 a dress or something for you. Am I preaching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we call knowledge. You need to know so that you can do it to yourself. So wisdom, ability to interpret this knowledge. Knowledge will make a house to be established. Understanding. No, understanding will make a house to be established. You have to understand yourself. She needs all the love. Don't stop showing her love very emotional as she shares today with you. Very, very emotional. She doesn't know what tomorrow holds, but she's trusting God that you can lead her. And that is what she said. You can lead her as a father. You can lead her as a husband. You can lead her as a brother. She has surrendered her all to you. And may God grant you that 
strength and that anointing to carry. And to us that are seated, that have come to this wedding, anytime you go to wedding, don't take it for granted. These three things, wisdom builds a house. Wisdom will make you whether to talk or not to talk. Wisdom will make you whether to wait or not to wait. Wisdom tells you, that's why they say God's time is always the best. How do you get into the timing of God? Then understanding, if you do understand yourself, there is always a misunderstanding that will come. But you need to be patient. When you do understand yourself, you will build the house together. Nana, you are seeking to build a house together with Abigail. Not the house of your father and mother. Abigail, the same thing. Not the house of your father and mother. You are building a new culture. That will be called Abigail and Nana's home. Use understanding. And the knowledge you have about yourself. Be patient to study yourselves. One after the other. Hmm? Don't assume you know yourselves. Now you are going to know yourself. I am married for 34 years. And every day there is a surprise for me by my wife. And I also do give her surprises. Because if you finish learning about yourself and knowing about yourself, there is nothing to live by again. There should be some surprises that you should always be going for. Isn't it? Oh, do you agree with me? If you know everything, will it be interesting? Small, there should be small surprises. Every day you put something new on the table. Hey, this one I don't know. Hey, this one I don't know. That is how beautiful it is. I'm praying that those of you listening to me, take this short word, wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Let it build your house. If for one reason or the other, something had gone wrong in your home, Use this beautiful thing that has taken place and mend your own. May God bless you. May God lift his countenance on you. May your ways be upright before God. And may you live every day knowing that God is always for you and no one can be against you. God bless you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's honor the bishop one more time with a clap offering. Hallelujah. Amen. So we will now proceed to the signing of the marriage certificate. And we would ask um, two witnesses from both sides. Two witnesses from the groom's side. And then two witnesses from the bride's side to proceed to the signing room. And whilst they are signing, we would receive administration from... Eli's band. Hallelujah. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up, so there's nothing I can do to let you down. It doesn't take a trophy to make you proud. I will never be more loved than I am right now. Going through the storm, but I won't go down. I hear a voice carrying the rhythm of the wind to call me out. To stay by my side.
Thank you. 
decide to append our signature to the certificate of marriage, Cap 127. That is signed on behalf of the state of beautiful thing. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Avril. Get to know that what God has put together, no man, no demon, no principality will put it asunder. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord made its countenance to shine on you. Tomorrow when you wake up, may the honor of God envelop you. May you see your children, children. May life become like butter in your hands. That will melt as you approach it. May God be your real reward. May any time you pick a step, may you step in the foot of his son, Jesus Christ. And may nothing defeat. One will put a thousand to flight. Two will put ten thousand. May that grace come over you and overtake you in Jesus' name. May God bless you all. As you have seen this, if you desire, may you have it. You see, if you desire for something, Bible says, whatsoever you desire, as you pray, you will receive it. And I'm saying receive it. Next time it will be yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. So let's bow down our heads for the closing prayer. And then afterwards, the bridal team can recess. Father, we thank you for such a beautiful ceremony. Thank you, Lord, for taking charge. Thank you, Lord, for your presence that was here right from the beginning to the end. Lord, we pray for the upcoming reception. We ask, oh God, that you sanctify the food and drinks. For those that travel from afar and near, we ask for journey mercies. Let your blood cover them. Take them safely to their destinations. In Jesus' name, let the saints of God shout a big amen. Hallelujah. And so we would ask the bridal team to... Okay, okay. So, and um, please sit down whilst I hand over to the MC, MC Della, for the photography. Afterwards, you can recess. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to capture this moment, please, you can still remain seated and zoom in. Give way for the official photographers and videographers to do their work. Thank you. Remain seated whilst the official photographers and videographers do their job. Thank you. Thank you.